is your Fox 5 News. Juliet Vara live in Los Angeles tonight. So you guys, what do you think? Good evening, Kathleen. Actually, Walter and I were talking about that not too long ago. You've got the country crooner. You've got the R&B vocalist, Candace versus Cree. The last time that a woman won was in season six with Jordan Sparks. So it's definitely time for a queen to take the throne. Tomorrow night is a big finale. There's going to be a lot of great performances. He's been working on this end to yes. get the uh, We've heard that Psy, the one who's made that, that Gangnam Style uh, oh, music Gangnam video. Style. <laughs> and my vote goes to Candace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I'm going to stick with Cree, but it's not up to us. Nope, it's up to all the fans, millions of people that are right now on their phones casting their votes. Oh, I don't know how they're going to pick. We're outside the Nokia Theater in downtown Los Angeles. We just caught up with American Idol finalist Cree Harrison. We also spoke to Candace Glover. Tonight is the night where America votes. Juliet Vara live in Los Angeles. Juliet, tell us if you would about the mood there. I actually got the opportunity to go inside the Nokia Theater and experience the show myself. So now I understand what all these thousands of fans get to experience. Candace Glover. She Candace Glover taking the win, the hometown girl from South Carolina. She auditioned for this show three times. Now it's her time. So that's how the night ended, but it started on the red carpet. It was star studded with a lot of familiar faces. Do you have an inkling it was going to go this way tonight? I didn't until last night. And now America gets to see Candace in her full glory. And from what I understand, she's a comic. Oh my gosh, she's so funny. That's the latest from uh, downtown Los Angeles outside the Nokia Theater here at American Idol. I'll go ahead and send it back to you guys in the studio. Velvet? What movie is that from? Well, I don't know, man, but when you're in Vegas, man, you gotta wear velvet. Tim McGraw, how do you stay out of trouble here in Las Vegas? Oh, I don't get in trouble anyway. I'm, I'm too old to get in trouble. Why are you single tonight? Where's your date? No, I, uh, I did not bring a date tonight because it's Vegas. How do you stay so perfect? It takes a whole, it's a whole lot of work going on here. Blondes or brunettes? Typically brunettes. Typically. It doesn't mean always. Now you, I hear, are single. I definitely am, yes. What do you look for in a, in a significant other? Oh, she's got to be wild. Seriously. Well, women, she's pregnant now, so you've got to be pregnant? prepared. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. you got to tell us I just, things. your country just broke the news. Yeah, this will be a change. For, for once, it won't be me. That'll be so hormonal, <laughs> you know? It'll be Hillary. Who's your big secret crush? Anderson Cooper. <laughs> Girl, I don't think he'll have a crush on you. <laughs> I know, that's the saddest part about it. Okay. <laughs> You want a little bit? It's really good. No, I got just like breathe. Oh, well, what, what are you going to be doing for New Year's? New Year's, um, probably hiding somewhere. I don't think you can hide. You know, let's talk first about Janelle. What do you think she brings and adds to country music, to your genre? You know, we really love Janelle. I think half of country music is the attitude. From the spotlights to the red carpet, Hot Country was on the red carpet at the 2011 American Country Awards in Las Vegas. Getting up close and oh so personal. Like I don't, oh, oh, oh. With the group Alabama. Alabama was honored for their greatest hits. I know that people care about and respect the music that we created. Country music sweetheart Carrie Underwood dazzled with the bling. Daniel Swarovski, I like bling. And, and pet it with her big diamond ring. She took home Female Artist of the Year, while party boy Jason Aldean scored the top honor of the night, Artist of the Year. I've always been a firm believer in it. If you, you know, if you work hard, good things are going to happen. Toby Keith capped off the night by performing his new single, Red Solo Cup. And that was quite literally the fan favorite of the night. Red Solo Cup! <laughs> I lift you up, let's have a party! Blake Shelton won music video of the year. Who are you when I'm not looking? New husband and wife duo Thompson Square, now definite players in the country music world, taking home single of the year by a new duo for their song, Are You Gonna Kiss Me or Not? As for plans on where to display those Fender guitars. Maybe have the awards in bed, maybe that, that would be, for just for the Sleep first for night. Every night. 